few more parts in. <clears throat> Go over them here. Um, I think we've already went over this stuff. We now have fuel pressure gauge, uh, Mr. Gasket fuel line for Edelbrock. <clears throat> I picked up this is that five sixteenths by one eighth <clears throat> NPT to um, come on now. Inverted flare. That is gonna go on here, <clears throat> but that's this comes with a three ace NPT. And this is the eighth, so I need to adapt that. <clears throat> and we got some Fringola Fragola Fragol Rock. Uh crush washers and <clears throat> I found this fitting on Amazon uh, M16 to 5 ace nipple and I put one of the uh, crush washers on I am not sold <clears throat> that this is going to work I didn't put any sealer on there hopefully that crush washer does its thing but there's not much not a lot of hex on that <clears throat> so now we have to get this one in here uh, we'll get back to that <clears throat> so here is the fuel gauge and the fuel line this is the original barb fitting they must have used some sort of now that I looked at it closer, maybe I left the old washer on there. But there was some kind of glue or something on there. <clears throat> we'll see if it leaks. Uh, the Mr. Gasket came with, looks like, nylon washers or whatever. <clears throat> but there's a problem with the choke that attached to this screw. Get that here. It bumps into the fuel line down here. We're off center by an eighth inch or so. So if I find that I really need to have a choke, I need to come up with another one of these. It's not too complicated. Just enough that, I don't know, this bend here, if that could be moved over some, it's still not getting in the way of how this works. Okay. Hopefully we just don't need a choke. <laughs> I know when this carb is on the Mustang, I only really needed it in cold weather, which is most of the time in Wisconsin. All obvious statements, I know, but <clears throat> I think there's a solution, and that's to get the hell out of Wisconsin. <laughs> so, all right. We got this. We'll have to get some hose clamps for that. Just getting nickeled, nickeled and dimed to death with all this fitting stuff. Oh, I didn't talk about this. So, I do have a little mini lathe, but I'd have to dig it out and blah, blah, blah. And so I put this bolt in here with a nut on it. I'm going to chuck that in a drill and just do my grinder grinder lathe trick take off quarter inch here I'm only gonna go down to the middle of the flat on the hex and see if that'll go in there so shouldn't lose any integrity on the fitting that way uh, but yeah <clears throat> quit dinking around with this top end of the motor and flip it around tomorrow and start putting the oil pump and crap together <clears throat> and hopefully if it doesn't rain this weekend I can 
put the hoist on it, put some flywheel on it, and maybe drop it in the engine bay. Let's see how far off we are.